If you want to start a business today and you want to build a website or a service that is online and you want it up and running in the next hour, you serious? then this video is right for you because in the next 10 minutes, I will show you exactly how I've created this website that is a functioning website that writes AI cover letters for you that works by simply uploading the resume and pasting in the job description and it generates custom cover letters for you in just a few seconds. This is a business opportunity that you can turn into a Microsoft SaaS or SaaS that can earn you a couple hundreds to a couple tens of thousands of dollars in passive income if you set it up correctly. In this video, I will show you exactly how you prompt the initial prompt in order to get the Replit agent to build a fully functioning website for you. I will show you how to create and connect an OpenAI API key so that you can use ChatGPT within your web apps. And I will show you how you can deploy it to the web so you can access it from your phone or from other computers across the globe and you can start sharing it. Creating apps has never been easier and and wipe coding is kind of the rage right now. So I wanted to show you how you can create your own app as well. Let's get right to it. We're going to be using a platform called Replit today. Click on the link in the description and you'll be led to this website. And you can see that you can sign up for free and get started with 10 development apps and even get a trial of the Replit agent that I'll be showcasing you today. For full transparency, I'm using the Replit core functionality that I got free access to from the Replit team. So thanks Replit for giving me access to this and let's get to building. Once you log in, you can see that this is what the home screen will look like. You can see all of the apps that you've developed on the left hand side. You can see see active deployments, the usage of your different apps, as well as more information on the left hand side. In order to create a new app, either click on the home page right here or click on create app, or you can even import code or design from other AI agents or frameworks. But we will get everything started from scratch. Check this out. Over here, I'm going to select web app and I will give it a very detailed prompt. As you can see here, my prompt has three different paragraphs and I'll pause it right here if you want to read it. However, if you want to create really detailed prompt, you can either use ChatGPT and you can prompted something along the lines of create a detailed prompt for an AI agent to create a custom cover letter generator. And it will give you something similar to what I've created. I would usually use this as a starting point and then always read through this to make sure that this is exactly what I want. So I've already crafted my prompt and I'm using this prompt in particular. It describes exactly what I want. I want a two page web application generating AI powered personalized cover letters. So this is really setting the theme for what I want to create. After that, I'm describing exactly what I want to create in which order. So in this case, I want to create a landing page that is SEO optimized. And then I want this to funnel to the the generate cover letter call to action. And then this button takes the user to the main application page where they can upload the resume. And this supports PDF, docs, text formats. And I will also include a drag and drop file picker. After that, I describe in exact detail how I want this to be built. In this case, I'm choosing the ChatGPT API integration. When, I, when the user clicks generate, process the resume and job description to create a 250 to 500 word personalized cover letter that intelligently matches skills from the resume to job requirements with specific examples. Display the generated cover letter in a previous area with processing formatting, so standard business letter layout, and provide two export options. I want this to be download as PDF and copy to clipboard button. This line here is really important. When you say include appropriate loading animations during processing and handle errors gracefully, this helps me troubleshoot things later and makes the user experience much more smooth. And lastly, I have this whole instruction that kind of sets the scene. I'm saying that I want this to be built as a minimalistic, uh, minimal viable product without any user auth and payment systems or database. Make it completely stateless and functional immediately. I'm telling it also to structure the code modular and authentication payment features can be easily added later on. This is super important if I get a lot of traction and realize that a lot of people are asking for these features, then I can add authentication as well as uh, Stripe payment processing and charge my users down the line if this is actually something they're willing to pay for. And I'm being very broad that I'm letting Replit choose the best uh, tech stack because I don't know as much about uh, how to best format and build this web app in the easiest way possible. So I'm letting Replit choose the tech stack for me, as well as the implementation details. In the end, the goal is a fully functional prototype that can start generating cover letters immediately after deployment. For the theme, I'm going to select auto theme. But if you have a specific color schema that you had in mind, you can add that in here or even manage your themes if you have a color schema that you like to work with often. And lastly, I'm going to select the web app uh, button right here, which uh, creates powerful web websites and handles users, database and more built with JavaScript. So if I want to add users and databases later on, this makes it much easier. Let's click on start chat. So first it takes in this prompt 
and you can see down here that it's thinking. It will give me a detailed plan as you can see here and then it will start building after I approve that plan. This is the plan. It's gonna call it Covercraft Pro and we have here a two page AI powered cover letter generating using ChatGPT API with file upload and export functionality. We will have the SEO optimized landing page with target keywords and then we have a file upload PDF docs text via drag and drop picker. We see the job description text input field. We see the ChatGPT AI API integration for cover letter generation, the personalized cover letter output, the PDF download functionality, copy to clipboard feature, the loading animation during processing, and then error handling for API failures and stateless operation no bay database requires. So for later, we can see here, agent can work on these lay tasks later after the initial version. And here it gives you a few ideas of what it could also do. So adding user, user auth uh, for saved cover letters, implement payment systems and premium features, and add cover letter templates and customization. So this is really good. And I'm going to proof this plan right here. In the meantime, we can see that it already started coding while I was reviewing this plan. And this is phenomenal. It was really fast. And we can see here that it's still considering options and it's still coding out all of the code. This is the first landing page. And we can see here that we have AI cover letter writer that gets you hired. This is really good uh, SEO copywriting already. The gets you hired part is the end result. And then we can the, see the tagline generate personalized professional cover letters in seconds with our automated cover letter generator. Perfectly match for any job application using AI technology. And then we have the CTA, which is the generate cover letter. The watch demo, um, let's leave that here for now. I don't have a video for this, but we can always add a video for that button later. And then these three statistics are actually not correct because I have not generated 50,000 cover letters or am tracking my user satisfaction, but the average generation time, we can add that in later. Here are the main features why people should choose this cover letter, which are AI power matching, easy file upload, lightning fast, professional formatting, mobile friendly and privacy focus. And then it describes how our cover letter generator works. Upload your resume, paste job description, generate and download. One last call to action with the start generating now. So the landing page here already looks perfect. And on the left hand side, we can see that it's currently working on the OpenAI TypeScript file, which is the API to ChatGPT. And then we can also see that it's creating a server uh, file processor, which probably um, converts the PDF. If we click on this, we can see the exact code that's being generated right here. And this is exactly what I expected. It is using a PDF library in order to parse through the PDF. And it is writing all of the functionality and logic in order to process the PDF file information. So it's currently creating the uh, file upload feature and it finished the file upload feature right here, which is about 200 lines of code. We'll test this out in just a second if this works. Now that all of these files are created, it installed the different dependencies and it executed a shell command right here in order to start the server and uh, deploy this. And it also generated a replit.markdown file that uh, notes down exactly everything that the agent just built. Now, if we scroll down here, we see that uh, it is giving us a warning that says to generate personalized cover letter with AI, we need an OpenAI API key. This allows for the application to access the OpenAI eyes model. And in order to get this, you need to start an account with OpenAI if you don't have one already. So head over to platform.openai.com or simply type in openai.com. Over here, click on login and click on the API platform. Now click on dashboard or API reference, but on dashboard on the left-hand side, you can see API keys. Click on that. Click on create a new secret key. And in this case, I'm gonna name it Replit Cover Letter Generator. I'm leaving it in my default uh, project and I'm gonna create the secret key. And this is blurred out because I don't want you to use my OpenAI key and use all of my credits. I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard and I'm gonna navigate back to my Replit agent. I'm simply adding the API key right here and click on continue. Now it's restarting the application. And you can see that it uh, self-diagnosed that there was an error and it's trying to fix it on its own. And for this part alone, I love this agent because just a year ago when I started to vibe code different apps, I would have to troubleshoot all of these errors myself. But now the Replit agent can self-determine where the errors are and fix them without me having to touch a single line of code. As we can see here, it was able to fix this error somehow. <laughs> and I'm not gonna even check what it fixed, but we can see here that it finished the website right here. It's currently still working on the router files 
and restarting the application right now. Let's see what happens when we click on generate cover letter. We're being led to this page, which is exactly what I had imagined. At the top right, it says no account required, which is awesome because this is the placeholder for later on for us to uh, add the account name right there. Then we have a big text box here where we can upload our resume. We can paste the job description and then we have a button here to generate the cover letter. Below that, we see the cover letter preview and uh, some tips for the best results. Include your complete resume with detailed experience, paste full job description for better matching and review or customize the generated letter before sending. Add specific company research for personalization. Let's try this out. Let's click on this. So this is the example cover letter that I want to try. Click on open and I'm getting an error which says upload error failed to process resume file. Let's feed this exact screenshot in here and say, I got an arrow. It says upload error failed to process resume file. So I'm describing exactly what happened and we'll give it to the agent to resolve. And apparently it was able to figure out the issue. The parse library is trying to access the test file that doesn't exist. When it initializes, let me fix this by creating a missing directory and the file da 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 da. This is a very human approach right now. It is running into an error with the PDF parse limitations. So it's trying to uh, disable that file format to just try it out with docs and text files at first and then to troubleshoot this uh, PDF functionality later. So let's see if it works this time. So let's try that out with our document. Let's save this as a docs file. Let's go back to this one and we have the docs file here. Let's open it. Resume uploaded successfully. Let's go to an example job description. On LinkedIn, here's a chief of staff description. Let's click on apply. Let's select this whole text, copy, paste it in here and let's click on generate cover letter. When we click on generate cover letter, we can see here a new error that says error AI service temporarily unavailable. Please try again in a moment. Let's feed this back in here and say, when I click generate cover letter button, I get the following error. Generation error 503 error AI service temporarily unavailable. Please try again in a moment. And once again, to troubleshoot this, I will just describe in exact detail what uh, happened to me with a screenshot. All right, after testing it out a couple more times, I finally got it to work. There was just an issue with uh, the connection with the OpenAI um, API, but it now works. After uploading a resume and pasting it in, I get this cover letter. Check this out. It has the uh, right formatting, the date, and it has Dear Hiring Manager. And then it uses exactly the experience that I uploaded on the resume, as well as the job description to go into exactly what they're looking for. So I really like this. However, um, I wanted to have another functionality, and that is I saw a lot of blank spaces where it wasn't very specific. I asked it to um, add another input field where the user can input any other relevant information, for example, the company name or the job description or the job name. And um, now I'm asking ChatGPT to generate this for me. So it has the add additional context um, right there. So let's test this out. All right, after uploading a resume here, pasting in the job description, we get this cover letter right here. It says, Dear Hiring Manager, I'm writing to express my interest in the position at Handshake AI. With extensive experience as chief of staff, I've successfully directed daily operations for diverse teams across multiple locations and implemented strategic. So all of this is perfectly aligned to the job description as well as the uploaded resume. And this makes this super powerful. However, there's a few issues that we will need to streamline before we can go live with this. If we click on download as PDF, we see here that this is formatted correctly. However, we say these things tw twice. We say dear hiring manager and then dear hiring manager's name, as well as your here and then sincerely your John Doe at Moluker.com. So we need to uh, clean that up. I have a strong suspicion that that has to do with the source prompt that we give to ChatGPT. So in order to find out what our source prompt is, we can just ask the Replit agent. We simply ask the agent where the source prompt is or what it is, and then we can tell it to change it. So it looks like it's located directly in the uh, OpenAI TypeScript file right here. So here's the truncated resume, additional context, and then the PDF template also adds the hiring manager. So in this case, we want to get rid of that. So we'll just update the source prompt by telling it exactly how we want the structure to be. And in this case, I'm just telling it that I don't want this in the template and that I want um, everything to be generated by ChatGPT and everything that we don't have information on to be left out. So it's currently pondering that and it's now generating uh, a better source prompt for ChatGPT that we can then use in order to generate even better cover letters. It just regenerated the code and let's try it out right now. Here we go, John Doe, Bay Area, that's exactly the address on my fake resume. You can see the fake resume right here. So now when we take a look at this, it is formatted perfectly. 
with a great personalized uh, AI cover letter. And the only thing that we need to fix here is that, but I think we just did that. So let's uh, restart the server. And here we have it. All of the changes that we asked for it have been implemented and it's time to try it out one last final time. There we go, it's generating our cover letter. And here it is, John Doe, which is the name that we en entered on our resume. Dear hiring manager, I'm writing to express my strong interest as chief of staff position at Handshake. With a proven track record of driving operational excellence and a passion for leveraging human data to advance AI technologies, I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute to your innovative team. This sounds really good and it's already right on par with what the role um, is asking for. So this is phenomenal. Let's see if the download as PDF uh, function works right here. Nice, it's neatly formatted and it doesn't have any issues. So we can download it right here to our computer or it's already downloaded to our computer. We can also copy it to the clipboard. And if we go over here, we can now paste it in. So if it is asking us for a cover letter, uh, we can paste it in right here. And uh, there we have it. There are so many more features that I can add to this, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you how you can create something like this super easily. So let me know in the comments below, what kind of features do you wanna see me integrate? Do you wanna see authentic authentication or Stripe integration to accept payments? If so, we can get that done in the next video. So subscribe for this video. But before we close off, let me show you how to deploy it. So you can try it out right now with the link in the description. Once you have something that works, deploying it has never been easier. You can simply deploy it by clicking on the deploy button right here. Click on deploy and then you choose what kind of compute you want to allocate to it. So in this case, we will just allocate one machine and we'll click on approve and configure build settings. We'll call it Covercraft Promo Looker replit at and then the secrets are saved and uh, hidden away so now you can click over here and click on deploy so while this is building, let me just say thank you to Replit for giving me access to the early AI agent build as well as sponsoring this video. All of my opinions are completely my own, but I really got to say it's so easy now to build any of these apps and iterate on them with the AI agent instead of having to troubleshoot custom by going into the code yourself. As you can see here, it's, it's giving a neat status that it finished the provision, the build, the bundle, and now it's currently going through the promote phase. And you can even see once you've deployed it, the logs, the analytics, and hook up your custom domain. For example, you can get a domain like Cover Letter Writer Pro and then connect it right here. Or you can even buy a domain through Replit right away. And this is only the beginning. I can now add so many more features now that I have this base structure of a functioning web app online. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see me build and what kind of other features you want to be added to this particular tool. For example, I've been thinking of adding a Stripe verification to add payments and payment processing to this particular web app so that I can charge people that want to use this tool on the daily basis. Furthermore, I could go into the security features as well as having some sort of login screen so that you can keep track of the different cover letters that you're writing. But again, I want to listen to you and see what kind of features you want to see me create. If you found this video valuable, feel free to subscribe and check out some other videos that I have. Check out the link to access Replit down in the comments. And I also just released a comprehensive video on how to use the new Replit Agent 3 that was just released. So you should definitely check that out right here. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'll see you in the next video.